Dear friends, uh, I am Professor S. Ram Murthy. Uh, I am here to give a series of lectures on uh, the mathematics part of the gate examination. Uh, all of us know that mathematics is uh, the backbone of engineering and uh, all of us have studied mathematics at several levels in the BTEC program. But very likely many of us must have forgotten many of the principles. So this course should help you to recoup all that you have lost and uh, I am sure that these lectures will be definitely beneficial for all of you to get back all the basics. Dear friends, uh, it is very heartening to know that the gate authorities have decided to give mathematics its due recognition and that is why 15 marks are allocated for, the gate ex uh, for mathematics in the gate exam. I am sure that all of you will benefit from this particular lecture series. My first topic today is going to be on improper integrals, uh, which is uh, much beyond what we have learnt in the 12th class of uh, integration uh, and uh, definitely we will be trying to look at better techniques to solve improper integrals. An improper integral basically appears like this. This could be a definite integral, but why do we call such integrals improper integrals and what are the conditions under which improper integrals are defined? Well, there are basically three types of improper integrals. One, when A or B are both minus infinity or infinity. That is, when A is minus infinity or B is infinity or both, we call this a type 1 improper integral. Secondly, when in the interval A less than or equal to x less than or equal to b, f of x is undefined, then we say this is a type 2 improper integral and a combination of both these things is called a type 3 improper integral. Therefore, what we can say is that any integral of the type integral a to b f of x dx is called improper when a is minus infinity or b is infinity or both. When f of x becomes undefined anywhere in the interval a to b and a combination of both these things can become what is called a type 3 improper integral. Dear friends, I will just introduce a few examples to explain what is the type 1, what is the type 2, what is the type 3 improper integral. Of course, we must not forget the proper integral in this process. Now, let us look at this example. This is an improper integral because of the upper limit being plus infinity. Okay? Since b is equal to plus infinity in integral a to b f of x dx. So, this is a type 1 improper integral. Then we have minus infinity to infinity dx by x power 6 plus 1. Here a is minus infinity, b is plus infinity in integral a to b f of x dx. So, this is also a type 1 improper integral. 
then we can have e to the power of minus x by square root of x 0 to infinity. This is a type 3 improper integral that is because x is equal to 0 happens to be a singularity. So, these are examples for type 1 and type 2 and type 3 improper integrals. Now, there is no guarantee that these integrals should always converge. A convergent integral produces an output and if it does not produce a finite output then we say it is not convergent. So, we will come to the issues of convergence or divergence of improper integrals very soon, but in the process we must not forget that there are also proper integrals.